So let us look into the problem statement once again and uh, come up with the solution as we understand all the transformations and actions in detail. So as part of the problem statement, we are supposed to get the daily revenue by product considering complete and closed orders. And uh, data needs to be sorted in ascending order by date and then daily revenue per product. And we need to get uh, the data order date, daily revenue per product and product name in that order using comma as delimiter as the final output before saving it into HDFS as well as the local file system. So we need to save data into HDFS in Euro file format, text file format. We have to also save it into the local uh, uh, file system as well. As we haven't talked about data frames and all, uh, and Avro is supported on top of data frames, we will defer uh, the saving final output to Avro format to a later point in time. We will see it later. But we will actually uh, talk about how to save the data in text file format using the delimiter and also how to save the data into the local file system. And also, as part of the problem statement, they have given the, um, or I have given the location of our orders or items in HDFS. This is key. And that data for orders and order items is in HDFS. And data for products is, is available locally. So we need to read orders and order items from HDFS. And we have to read uh, data for products from local file system. And we have to join these three data sets to get our final output. So depending upon this problem statement, I have come up with a uh, solution uh, design for the solution. First, we need to understand the environment and use resources optimally while launching Spark Shell. That is very important. Uh, for us in uh, lab, the data sets we are trying to explore is very small. But when it comes to certification exam, uh, they might give few gigabytes of data and you have to process it. And uh, unless you understand how, how much resources are being used um, and uh, launch Spark Shell with optimal resources, it can take a bit of time for the execution. To use resources more effectively, better to understand how to launch Spark Shell depending upon the data you are trying to process. Once that is done, we have to read orders and order items data from HDFS. And then we have to filter for completed or as well as closed orders. Then we have to com convert both filtered orders as well as order items into key value pairs uh, with already as key so that we can join the two. And then we can actually aggregate by using reduce by key uh, uh, to get revenue per product per day, which is nothing but daily revenue per product. Uh, their key will be the date and product ID and value will be the aggregated revenue. Once that is done, we have to load products from local file system and convert into RDD. And we have to join daily revenue per product ID with products to get daily revenue per product using name. So the final output will be order date, daily revenue per product and product name and we'll be saving the output as part of uh, this series of videos to uh, text file format into the location daily revenue txt scalar. And also uh, we'll try to copy the same to local file system into this location, home, your user ID and daily revenue underscore scalar. So this is the uh, design for the solution. And I have already listed these things as part of uh, a file using sublime text and we will explore one after the other as we proceed and record um, uh, three or four topics to cover all these things.